Hello, my name is Miguel Vasquez Jr. And for my project today, I will be talking about the topic of metabolism, more or less focusing on the digestion part of metabolism. For the purpose of editor visualizing, I have created this structure in the video game Minecraft. I have constructed a structure today that is meant to represent the human anatomy in Minecraft. On the screen, it is depicted to have in two halves. One side having human traits, skin, hair, eyes, clothes, and the other half it being bones and organs and muscle tissue right here for the arm. So, how does metabolism work? Well, metabolism is one of the most important processes in the human body. I believe the whole idea of metabolism is just a bunch of smaller processes that are all equally impactful in keeping the human body intact. If I could explain the whole pro process of metabolism, I would gladly, but for the for today's project, I would like to keep things short and to the point, and I will be focusing on the digestive part of metabolism. To begin with, metabolism starts with the consumption of chemical energy, which mostly includes carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, in addition to other chemical energies, which is sugar. When talking about chemical energies, what I'm referring to is food. So, by food I mean like apples, melons, carrots, meat, de desserts, whatever. Anything that you can eat and taste good. The reason I refer chemical energies to food is because most foods that we eat or that the public eats are made up of these three components. Most foods include carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. But for my project, or this entire example that I will be giving you today, I would use proteins as my main food source and explain what happens when you consume them. So proteins are big molecules made up of long chains of amino acid building blocks. There are about 20 different distinct amino acids that are present in total. These must first be divided into smaller individual amino acids for the body to actually absorb them and for it to be used as energy or just to be stored whatever the body needs so right here I have esophagus looking thing which leads to the stomach right here I have put lava down, which represents the stomach acid in the stomach. And right below the stomach, I have a crude depiction of the small intestine. But if we were able to go inside the stomach, the, the small intestine, I have a little example of how I believe it would look like. So, say I would feed this giant some cook rabbit some cooked mutton which is sheep and some steak and if you can hear very faintly you could hear like a little sizzling sound that's the stomach acid working so steak mutton rabbit So you're probably asking yourself what happens when 
you eat said protein and it finally reaches the stomach? Well, the stomach actually releases an enzyme known as pepsin into the stomach acid. And the main purpose of pepsin is to, di to digest these proteins from the food into smaller pieces for easier digestion. And once the proteins get broken down, once the proteins from the food get broken down, they reach the small intestine, which is this, right below the stomach. And the interior of the small intestines are lined with this thing called intestine villi. This is how I believe a small intestine would look like. This is the intestine wall, small intestine wall. And this is like the intestine villies. I'm using uh, crimson grass to represent the intestine villies. And the purpose of these intestine villies are to further break down proteins into their component parts. These intestine villies look like they are said to look like hair to almost finger like projections. And at the tips of these intestine villies, they have this thing called epi epithelial cell membranes which, as I had mentioned before, break down the proteins into their component parts, which are amino acids. In addition, the intestine villies can also transport... Yeah, the intestine villies also contain something known as transport proteins that move these amino acids into cat cap capillaries. They eventually reach the liver from the capillaries. According to LearnGenetics.com, amino acids travel from the bloodstream to the liver through the heptic portal vein. And from there, I would like to believe that they are sent to cells that need energy or need proteins or they just might be stored away. So this is all that I have for my project today. And I hope you enjoyed it.